I'm logged into Project Online. Project Online is just one of the applications within the Office 365 experience. And once I'm here, I see all of my different projects, the status of those projects, the health of them, a timeline or roadmap of those projects and when they're all laid out. Um, uh, you know, Project Online has some great capabilities around taking in ideas and project requests, and you can utilize that to get it from an upfront requested project all the way into an approved project. At some point, once that project becomes approved, you're going to need to do some more detailed planning around how we're actually going to execute on and achieve the value of that particular project. To do so, in the past, generally you would open up Microsoft Project Professional Desktop and build out your waterfall schedule there and or start from a template. Or you could utilize the online planner right within Project Online to do that. Um, but in this case, let's say this project lends itself better to being managed in an agile way. And not only that, but I want to use Jira to manage the execution of that project. And so to do that, I can select the project here and I'm going to say I want to open it up in Jira. At that point, if it doesn't already exist in Jira, it will actually create it and then link the two together. In this case, it just linked me over here since it already existed. I could then come in and create my backlog of items and drag and drop those into different sprints. I could utilize the Kanban board to update the status on these items. I can assign these items out to people and I can actually also log work on them and say I spent you know, eight hours working on this today. As I do that, we'll take the relevant information from here and send that back into Project Online so that we can then get a full picture of not just our waterfall projects or our agile projects and how they're doing and the statusing of them and the resourcing and the cost, the amount of hours we're spending on them, etc. But I can roll that all up into one portfolio so I have one place to go, one version of the truth. From there, we can pull that information into Power BI and we can create some really robust reports to give managers, executives, other stakeholders, etc., visibility into what's going on with these Agile projects, as well as our waterfall and everything all mixed together into one or multiple portfolios. So at the top here on the left side, I see more traditional waterfall types of metrics, things like portfolio cost and risk and ROI. But the cool part is, I'm not just looking at the cost of my waterfall projects. This is actually my waterfall and agile and hybrid projects all mixed together, my true total cost of my portfolio of projects, and get into status of those projects and so on and so forth. Whereas on the right side, I can also show more traditional agile types of metrics like sprint burnups and burndowns, bug trends over time, cumulative flow diagrams of user stories, etc. So as a manager, I can go to one place to get all of the reports and information that I need in real time. Uh, without having to go to like Jira for some reports and Project Online for other reports and trying to do manual things to mush all that data together to get a better perspective of what's going on. Even from a resourcing perspective, I can understand what all of our resources are working on, who's working on what, who's available, who's not, and all of that information rolls all together and gives you one consolidated view of what's going on without having to do a bunch of data gymnastics to make that happen.